everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new today i've got a couple of things going on i'm going to show you some new um items in my etsy store which you may have already seen if you're over on instagram but i do have a couple of people in here who i know don't have instagram so if you're not fussed with seeing that then just skip past um a little bit of happy meal and of course cash stuffing um new dice you absolutely do not need it I do not need it, but it was £2 from the works, so I had to buy it. So, let's get into some of the new things in my Etsy shop, and I think I'm going to sneeze. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So, first thing is, take it slow and steady. This is a little booklet. It saves £195 in total. I try not to put denominations on a lot of my things because I do have people from other countries purchasing. Um, and this booklet has six pages in total, five of which have little turtles on them. And I just love them because the little gem turtles. Look at the little gems and all the little pearls. These are supposed to be pearls, not bubbles. Um, and... All the amounts, I believe, yeah, so it's all one to fives. So all one to fives that save £195, not bad. So, yeah, this is this one. Super, super, super cute. And that is available on Etsy. Link is down below for Etsy if you are wondering. The next booklet is this one, Chuck Me The Dice. You know, I've got to have a bit of leopard print. This one is you roll your dice, you get a five, You the, at the top there's little dices, you turn to the page that has the five and then you just pick what to scratch off. Each page has four scratch offs and in total this will save you £100 and it also has seven pages including the front page this one because obviously you've got your six for your dice and then your front page. So that's that one. Next, we have two book savings challenges. These both do have matching envelopes, but for some reason, I have not brought them. This one is inspired by Twilight. Um, and so the lion fell in love with the lamb. And the reason I decided to make these is because I always read books. I love reading books. Twilight was actually the first book that actually got me into reading books when I was a teenager. I haven't read it since then. Um, and the other one is High Lords and Wing Leaders Book Club. One minute, because I have actually got the books beside me. Oh, sorry. Again, they both come with matching envelopes, if you would like that. And that one is for, like, inspired by these books. Um, I have read Fourth Wing, I haven't read Iron Flame, so don't give anything away. But yeah, I'd love to know if you have read any of these books. Or if reading is your thing, what type of books do you read? Okay, so that's those. Next is, new to my shop, I am bringing a five savings challenges. So... As you know, I don't have an A5 binder, but these will fit inside of an A5 envelope. If you like me and you don't have an A5 binder, then these, I mean, you can just put them um, with beside your binder. It doesn't have to go in your binder. That's how I'm going to use them anyway. Um, so the first one says £110. Life is better at the beach. So cute pink and blue this says 110 pounds and is all in five and ten pounds again no um pound sign for anyone who isn't using english pounds next we have a scratch off messy bun leggings leopard done as you know, I love a bit of leopard. This one's got the leopard in the background. This is a scratch off and it saves a total of £100 and it has eight scratch off circles. And the last one 
is take the scenic route and it saves a whole a total a total of 120 pounds and it's one 315 colour the little circles in as you're going along the road which I thought was super cute and it's all pink um definitely let me know down below if A5 is your thing if you want to try an A5 if you've got any A5s let me know the next thing is how adorable rubber dub dub the cat is in the tub and rubber dub dub the dog is in the tub the reason why there is four is because i've done them in two different total saving amounts the first total saving amount is 122 pounds and these are all one through five so you color each um rainbow square off as you go in and how cute are them images so yeah rubber dub dub the cat is in the tub and rubber dub dub the dog is in the tub and then the other one the other denomination is a 230 and this is one through 10 so depending on your budget there are options this will fit in an a6 um binder and is hole punched so that's those and the next things are a four so as you know i'm going to put my hand right across and get my binder out as you know in previous videos you have seen this this is available on my shop it has 10 challenges in it and i i'll just move that out of the way and i have made three new challenges that can go into it so around the world in 80 days is the first one it has 80 circles and then it also has with different numbers and then it also has some circles which have icons and the icons equal what's over here in total this will save you 280 pounds it is available on my etsy but also you can choose to not get it with this hole punch um so you could just have a larger game which i think is super fun as well um so the option will be on there hole punch and not hole punch so hole punch does mean the nine punches for the nine rings okay there's that and then the last two things are scratch offs these two aren't laminated but they will come laminated everything i do comes laminated unless you ask me um, I just found that that was better for people because then they were reusable. Also, most people, um, actually I pretty much say everybody who purchased off my store was purchasing, la purchasing laminated. So I just decided that, yeah, everything was going to be laminated. These aren't. These are just going to be mine. First one, Feline Flowers, saves up £275. All of these are scratch-off circles. <laughs> look at how cute and then you have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 so these are quite big amounts um but there'll be one of these flowers diff all these flowers different ones mixed up underneath here and then you scratch one and then whatever flower you get you save the amount beneath it so that's that one and then the other one is called pooch posies how cute this one has eight scratch offs with different amounts underneath one and this one totals a hundred pounds so it is less than feline flowers again these will be laminated when you purchase so that is all for um one minute because am i still videoing yes i need to hurry up because i'm gonna run out of battery so that is all everything new that's currently in my store and let's get in to cash stuff in so we have some new binders how beautiful are these they are from princess planning i believe um and they're super big look how big the rings are like Compa comparison massive rings love it super good quality this is my old one what my challenges for saturdays used to be in what i've now turned this in is my week one to five because i needed a binder for that 
Um, and then the other black one has my general sink and funds in it. I still have my other two binders. I am wanting to change one of them to one of these, but I just, I'm not sure yet which one I want to buy. So we are on week three um of and I, this binder is just for my saturday money it isn't for my pound coins oh man where am i gonna put all them where's my coconut when you need it oh here he is right sorry okay so week three what are we doing? Hope you're all having a nice week. I know it is the Easter holidays soon, which I totally forgot about, to be honest. Um, so, in total today, we should have £187.96. So, let's see what we're doing, what we've got. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 165 and change. And hopefully, I'm not counting that out, I'm just not. <laughs> hopefully there is the right amount. Just know what I'm like. Get it wrong every week. Can you see this? Yes. One lonely five pound note. Tens and two twenties okay so first of all i just feel like there's a lot going on right goodbye um fund fatty so fund fatty yeah she is studio no dingley designs I also gonna quickly show you some amazing happy mail I got from her. So first off, I got this colour crush, which she made because a lot of people asked for this one out of the birthday box. Um, but it was limited edition. But this one equals five hundred pounds and it's double paged. Wow! Um, so I'm excited about that. I also got the mini one, which is super cute as well. This says fifty pounds. And this is called Colour Crush as well. These are available on our website. I believe she's just restocked them or she's going to restock them. Um, and the other thing I got, which I absolutely love, is Cash Trap. Comes with an envelope and you also get this spinner. I've never had a spinner challenge before, so I'm super excited to get this done. This is definitely going to be coming soon. Um, and it's a game and then... Like you roll a number and if it says go to jail, then you've got to go to jail and you have like, and then you have to roll a coloured dice and whatever colour you get, you have to save. And then there's different things, spin and save. So you spin the, sa the spinner, save three pound. Like it's such a good game. Definitely go look at it. Um... As for this smaller one, I was thinking about mini Mondays for this one. And as for this bigger one, I won't be starting this soon because I've got too many things going on. But it is definitely coming. Okay, so back to Funfetti. We are bringing £20 to play with. What do I need for this? A coloured dice. So, coloured dice, there we go, oh and let's not forget me little ding ding buffer jar, okay so pink, <gasps> I love pink, I'm going to do the second one, I'm going to get my calculator because I can't count, I know that is very bad, okay so three, nice low one, Um, where did I put the dice? Okay. <laughs> Shall I count that as a pink again? I'll throw again because it... Because it... 
knocked off the calculator. Blue, let's go for the second one again. Oh, yeah, two. Plus two. Pink again. Oh, it's light in the pink this week. Let's go for this one. Five. Plus five equals ten. Let's roll again. Yellow. Ooh, this one hasn't had many scratched off. Six. Ooh, that's a biggie. Plus six. What has gone on here? I think I've... Right. Ooh, yellow again. Right, let's go for this one. <gasps> oh, no. That was a not a good idea to do. Don't roll again <laughs> right plus nine equals 25 pounds and you better believe i've went over okay so in my buffer i have got five pounds exactly three four five so i'm going to have to bring money for my buffer next week um yeah so what do I need? My head's a bit jumble fumble this way. Okay, so let's put that in there for now. Fund Fetty. £25 going into Fund Fetty. Three, four, five, and 20. Mm, this is building up nicely. So, so far in total, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, and 6. Why have I got, I've got sc right dingley designs website next one seven dwarfs sorry about reaching over yours okay so seven dwarfs we are putting how much am I going to put in seven dwarfs Dum 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 dum. Oh, twenty pounds. So, um, let's see what we can do. Right, we're gonna do a ten. Is this me last ten? Ooh, yes, it is. Do you know what? I much prefer colouring on paper than I do on laminate. Laminate, laminate, laminating strip. And two five, so we'll do this bl blue. And then the yellow in the top. So that's £20 coming in and we've only got 10 20 left to go before this Seven Dwarfs Challenge by Donna Pell by Creativity is complete. I'm not going to count because I know my battery's about to run out, I think. I need to buy a new wire. Okay, so next up we have my savings book, which we started off the first one last week and i am bringing another five pounds this week so um nice and easy i'm just going to color this five pound off can you see i hope you can five pound uh, one thing i just wanted to quickly ask is I know people are sensitive to certain sounds. Um, to be honest, so there's certain sounds that annoy me to no end. But um, I just five pounds going in to. 
saving the suction stars from my book pocket money um i know like loud noises can be an issue um does the ding ding in bother you just let me know down below um so pocket money pocket money is getting 10 pounds oh he's gonna be loaded that's not he's not gonna be that loaded put that back um again what am i doing no nope 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 again this is to put in my son's savings jar which he actually dropped on his foot and nearly broke his foot the other day so he smashed it so i need to buy him a new jar he had the clear one that i originally had but it was just too big for me to be saving with so i gave it to him to save his little bits of change right so with coloring each one of these is five pounds this was a freebie um let's do purple one all the challenges that i am using will be linked all the shops or the person's youtube will be linked down below okay so that's that done how sweet is that okay so <clears throat> Next, we are on to gummy bears. I condensed the numbers on this one. Okay, so what are we doing today? Oh, this is a biggie, right? This is getting 40 pounds. 10, 20, 30, and 40. Um, calculator, 40 minus 15 minus 14 minus wait a minute get me pen 40 minus 15 minus 14 and then 11 so 40 pound going into gummy bears and this is getting there we are getting there I'm gonna I'll count it up for you next week. Okay, so next now this is next we have Scouse Girl budgets. This is a biggie. And last week I scratched extra ones off. Um and I wasn't gonna I wasn't expecting to do all the extra ones. I just really wanted to know what was ahead because this is a lot, this one. Um let's see if I can get to where I was at. So I scratched a 20, a 13, a, a 10, and an 18. This was a bit easier when it was attached to my book. Um so 20 plus 13 plus 10 plus 18 equals 61 pounds and guess what i'm putting it all in what a whopper that is so 61 pounds 10 20 30 40 50 60 and one going in I'm honestly on a mission to finish this one. I really am. There's been so many times, therefore, I'll just take the money out and use it for this. Um, but I'm sticking at it. So this is from Scouse Girl Budgets. Uh, channel should be linked down below. And she has an Etsy shop. <clears throat> so 
next we have um I feel like I sh should have put some of that change in there. Oh, well, right. So next we have my tin. Am I putting anything in? See, I'm not putting anything in seasons this week. We are now on to spring, which is until the end of the month. So I'm not doing any this week. And I want to put some money in my tin. And my 52 week challenge. Okay, so Tim is getting £10. Let's see what we've got in here. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or shall I do, or shall I just put the 10 in and then use these pounds in my binder so I can, no, I'm going to use, I'm just going to do the 10. This is probably a mistake. So, £10 going in to my £500 tin. And let's mark off the next £10. <gasps> e, what have I just done? I'll rub that off in a minute. Okay, so that's £10 in there. And that's coming along. I have been doing this one since before Christmas, but that's all right. Some take longer than others. Um, okay, so envelope. Let's move this out of the way. It's empty. Empty, empty, empty. Right, so... I have changed this over. I did have all of the envelopes, if you remember, but because obviously in America they have the $1 notes, they can keep all of their money in each envelope, whereas I was having to put a little bit in the envelope and then the rest in an envelope, because um, obviously coins can't go in these. So I just changed it up, and now I've got this, so I can see everything, um, and then one wallet with the money in. So I did condense whilst I was doing this and I have done the top two biggest ones, 51 and 52. So I do feel like I've done absolutely none now and before I did feel like I did quite a few. So today I am putting, let's have a look what we've got in here. I think I might change some of this out actually with my binder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we'll leave that for the penny um, savings. And I'm going to change £10 of this up in my this binder. So, £10 and then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going back into the binder for the swap. Okay, that's that done. So, what did I say? 17, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm going to just mark that off. Is anyone else doing it? Um, 50 envelope challenge or 100? Let us know. Especially um, if you've got a video on it as well. I'll come and give it a watch. Right, so this is going in. Going in. Right. So last but not least. We are on to our penny savings challenge. So, let us get that out. So, my penny savings challenge is my own. Um, and it is in 
I still haven't uploaded it. I'm going to upload it. I'll tell you what, I'll try and upload it today. Possibly. We'll see. Um, so, what pen was I using? This one, I think. How much have I got? Let's see. So, we have one, two, three, four pounds plus... 50, 60, 70, 85, 0 0.85 plus 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 0 0.11 equals £4.96 to go in. So, where am I going to go today? Um, I think I'm going to go up from here, I think. So minus Z, oh no, 74 minus 0 0.75, 76, 77, 78. Right, let's just mark these ones off and then I might do one big one, one pound 16. So it's it's not even that far up. One pound sixteen. Right. So I have marked off one, two, three, four. So I've marked off six today. And let's put the money in the tin. Penny savings challenge. Tim. So that's all done. Penny savings challenge done. All the money is gone. And that is everything for today. So, thank you so much for watching, especially if you've got this far. Um, and I'd love it if you could give me a like if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time. Bye.